Welcome guys to another episode of the 10 Haunted Places in South Africa. I really hope you enjoy my first episode of the Haunted Places. But yeah, unfortunately I used the narrator voice to do my first one. And this one I decided to do myself. Remember my English on that good. And I'm not used to read it a lot. So yeah, this will be the first time of doing this live so please don't judge me I'm not a big reader but I really want to do this by myself and not a narrator the second part will be Tokyo Manor the Manor House although grazing rights on the lands around the Tokyo Manor House were originally held by Simon van der Stel the estates was sold in 1792 to Johan Adrius Raj, chief of the armory and head caretaker of the Grutsky estate. The following owner, Andreas Tubes, was responsible for the construction of a manor house which French master architect Louis Michel de Bold is credited to have designed. The very high front stoop veranda with its massive round pillars was created by dramatically curving the twin flights of st stairs. The residence was completed in 1796 and was described as the most outstanding homestead in Cape Town Peninsula. The cost of building this splendid house ruined tubes and he was forced into bankruptcy in 1799. In the early 1800s, the residence was owned by Petrus Michel Extien. He was a party loving spendthrift who hosted the finest banquets. His parties were well known and his cellars always well stocked. He was eventually declared insolvent in 1849. During one of Exxon's New Year's Eve parties, his son Frederick, who was an exceptional rider, accepted the wager from his father to ride his horse up the staircase and into the dining room. The guest watched expectionally as he mounted the steep steps of the manor house and horseback. The horseman cycled the dining room table, hoofs clattering, spurred on chairs and laughter from the revelers. Tragedy followed and the dining guest rose to watch horse and mount depart. While descending the exceptionally steep steps, the horse tripped and both horse and rider fell. The young man broke his neck in the fall and lay dead alongside his horse at the bottom of the staircase. It is still said that the spectral horse and rider still canter through the forest and sometimes, especially on the New Year's Eve, they relive their death. Over the years, there have been several reports about the pair frequenting the area around the manor house. Without a logical explanation, Sometimes exuberant laughter and nighting of horses can be heard from inside the manor house at night. In the dark early hours of the morning, forestry workers have heard a horse at full gallop along the road. The rider reportedly wears clothes from a bygone era and heads straight toward the old house and mount the steps. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. This was part 2 of the wanted places in South Africa. So there's still 8 to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like my video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And switch on the notifications. And please remember to comment below. And give me some comments on whatever you would like to see on my channel. And I will try my best to get the content for you. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your night or day.